Rub a dub dub, I'm sitting in my tub in the house I bought just the other day. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my brand new house. Let me show you around a little bit. That's my favorite tree right over there. Got this nice couch that I could just lift right up. <laughs> okay. And I got a nice TV and a nice VCR player. And I also got this nice high-tech computer. It's got the latest graphic card and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM. I say that there's nothing that can ruin this joyous moment. You're still poor, loser. <laughs> Rub a dub dub, I'm back in the tub. Trying to wash away all this recent pain. <laughs> I really need to leave this neighborhood. No, don't get me wrong. It's not what that guy said. It's because grandma is literally two houses away from me. Come and get some cookies, grandson. I'm going to sell my house to start. It's only $750, but I'll get $750 back. <laughs> 375 really only 375 i'm only getting half i can't auction this off what kind of marketplace is this well i guess we won't sell our house just quite yet we'll just go house hunting in the morning it's a beautiful morning after almost getting suffocated by my pillow in my own bed we're ready to go house hunting. And might I say, we got our fine vehicle in the garage. Who am I kidding? This vehicle sucks. I believe this vehicle only goes two miles per hour as I'm pedaling this car forward. Or it looks like I'm slowly uh, thrusting uh. it, maybe. I don't know. No, the drawbridge. I can make it. Come on, one big thrust. We can make the jump. You didn't make it. Well, that ended in tragedy. Well, I guess I gotta get myself a new car. Ooh, it's a little villa. It's got a nice fountain. Looks modern. $1,500. I only have $63 to my name. Well, can I check it out before I buy? Like, open the gate. I want to check it out. Ooh, looks like there's a two-car garage in there. Oh, there's this house. It's $1,500. It's right outside the city. Nice location. But there seems to be a few more houses that we can check out. Ooh, we got two houses right next to each other, and they seem to be log cabins. This one has a hot tub. Can I try before I buy? Yes, I can. Ah, I can just feel the day's worries and aches just melting away. And there's also someone ramming into my vehicle in the background. <laughs> How much for this? Thousand dollars. How much for this two-story log cabin? I can see it also has a hot tub and it has a swing set. And we know how much I love my swing sets. How much for you? Two thousand dollars. Well, these two houses seem nice, but there's limited jobs out here, and we're kind of far away from the city. We have one more house to check, and it's over here. Ooh, I already like the look of this house. It's a two-story house, and it's on a farm. A thousand dollars. Hmm, somewhat reasonable price, and we're reasonably close to the city, and we got some farming jobs, and we got, like, the lumber mill, demolition, and we got some mining, and we can have some chickens to play with, and I can also have all the vegetables I need. Okay, I think we have the house that we're gonna buy. If I sell my other house for $375, that gives us roughly $400? So I need to get $600 from jobs. So as I waddle my way over to my scooter, which job are we going to go to? Ah, there's nothing I love more than holding a sharp, scary object going into these woods and falling down some trees. Because that's just the manly way to do it. Boss, what do you need from me? I'm ready to do the job. Okay, cut down trees, bring them back here, make planks. Okay, let's go. Them trees ain't going to chop down themselves. This axe is riding up my butt. <laughs> This is not the way to cut tree. It's gotta drag my ax and drag this tree back to my truck. And of course a taxi and a bike are trying to drive up my truck. What the heck is this all about? Get out of the way people, lumberjack and work. Oh, I lost a log, I lost a log, I lost a log. Can you tell that I lost the log? I, I did it again. Bye. That's it, it's gone. Yes, I can put up the gate, but why should I? A man doesn't need to put up a gate. A man needs to be an open book. A man only needs a sharp ax in his hand and a tree to fall with the other. Come on, cut down this tree! Come on, get up the ramp. Don't go under the ramp, go over the ramp. Yo, oh, it's good enough. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's gone, that, that tree's gone. No, 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 we don't have time. We have a minute 14 to turn these into lumber. Don't hit the house, don't hit the house, don't hit the porta potty. Drive it right here. Okay, we have 40 seconds to get this lumber over here. Well, each one gives us $5. That's nice. Push, 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 40 bucks. I made $40. Thanks, boss, for the 40 bucks. 
put the forty dollars in there and off we go now you might be thinking shouldn't you close the back hatch a manly man doesn't need to close his back hatch he needs to keep it open for the world to see Farmer Brown! Jumping tractor, attach plow, drive over the field. That seems simple enough. This tractor's already set, it looks like. Let's go! <laughs> Just a farmer's typical day, plowing the field. Well, luckily this job, I don't have to worry about any civilians getting in my way. There we go, $30. $30 for that. I got a farmer hat though. That'll go well with my new house that I buy out here. Now you require seeding. Jump in tractor, attach cedar, and drive over field. Okay, Farmer Brown. Well, this tractor already has the cedar, so we're just gonna hop on this, drive right through, and it's another percentage thing, okay. Yep, just a farmer doing farmer things, you know, just plowing the field, seeding the field. I bet I'm gonna have to harvest the field next, you know. What the cedar just tipped over. I'm seeding my freshly plowed field. It looks like everything's covered. What am I missing? This section over here by my tractor that I left in the field. There we go. Another $30, huh? So right now I have 60. I have the farmer top. Farmer Brown, is it harvesting time? Oh, I have to deliver it to a destination? Wait a second. I can take over Farmer Brown's shop if I just run him over. <laughs> oh, dang it. He's impenetrable. Only in Wobbly Life where you harvest pea pods and they turn into giant peas. There's one last one. And it's by my tractor. And then I need to get a freaking car that can deliver this. Does Farmer Brown have a better vehicle over here? He's got a flatbed. That's good. First things first, I got to get my money. That ball just disappeared. Take my money and place it in the back of the truck. Don't want to lose my paychecks. Let's go. Open the gate. <laughs> the car just jumped. <laughs> if I lost my money now, I would totally think about quitting. <laughs> ah, get in the head. Close enough. That pee is rolling away. Where is it going? You can't get away from me, pee. Okay, gate's closed. Let's go. Out of my way. Farmer baked bread coming through. Don't lose any pea pods. We have nine to deliver. That is literally green gold in the back of my truck. Okay, the drawbridge is down. That's good. Oh, that was close. I thought I almost lost some beans. Oh, we're going to the supermarket. Seven minutes to spare. Back. No, oh, the peas. The peas. I freaking jinxed it. I hit something. I don't know what I hit. You can't get away from me. There we go. Perfect. Yo, Tommy, I got your peas for you. Tommy, why aren't you grabbing it? What do they pay you for? You shove them right in your face, Tommy. Well, each one seems to be $10. So that's a nice profit. $90 right there. Huh? Where's my $90, Tommy? Tommy, where's my $90? Is it stuck up on the roof? Or did Farmer Brown just jip me? I think I just got jipped out of $90. I do not know, because I was not paying attention. I was too busy shoving peas into Tommy's face. Well, I guess there's the mining job up north. We'll see how much that pays. Hey, I heard you're looking for miners. Explore the mine to find ore and wall. Place dynamite or pickaxe to break walls. Carry ore back to the mining machine. Process the ore. That seems simple enough, but there's some ore right there, but I do not have a pickaxe. So, uh, where do I get a pickaxe? Oh. There's TNT. I think the pickaxe is gonna be the best bet. This diamond? Am I lucky? Put this into the machine. There we go. How much is that? $10. That's nothing. That can buy me a gumball. Next ore. Looks like gold. It should be like 20 bucks, right? Am I getting my hopes too high? 15. Going through unexplored territory. Oh, that's a big chunk of gold. Look at this thing. God, I can barely get through these tunnels. We'll let that process and see how much that's cost. That's gotta be at least 30. $30. That's a big chunk. 20. That's some more gold. <gasps> That's different. That looks like diamond. No, screw this. I'm picking up this diamond. 58 seconds, I gotta get back there and put this into the machine. How do I get back up there? Oh crap, I might have screwed myself. Uh, there's a big room here, but this is not the exit. No, my diamonds. I'm going to lose my diamonds. The exit's this way. Come on, I got 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh -oh. No, I'm stuck. No, the exit's right here. I only made $45. Thanks boss. Can I leave this out here with you? Is it safe to leave out here? I'm gonna put this on this truck. If it's gone, you owe me $45. Remember that. <laughs> Screw all this stuff at the entrance. We are going for big bucks. Move it, move it, move it. Diamond. Let's see how much this costs. Since there's only one diamond, we're gonna pickaxe this gold too. That's 10 bucks. Yeah, we know, we know. How much for the diamond? That's all I care about. How much did I miss? Cause I missed two of them. $25, I missed 50 bucks there at the end. Where's the diamond? <gasps> diamond! Oh, there's double the diamond. Oh, baby, take this back. We're making bank. Gold's nice and all, but I'm looking for diamond. <gasps> diamond! That's a big boy. That's a big boy. 
Look at this big boy. This is definitely a big boy. My years of Minecraft and Terraria are paying off just to make a little bit more profit. That's 40 bucks right there. $170, woo! And my money stayed out here. Thank you, Foreman. I don't want to lose this money. Dude, this is like $211. I made more at the mining place than I did chopping trees or plowing. Here we go, money secured. Oh, baby. And if we do my math correctly, I think I have $800. So I'm $200 away from buying that new house. Well, since I'm here, I might as well just do the power plant job. Boss, I should probably let you know. <laughs> Wait a second, boss. I'm not freaking hazmat certified. Grab the hazmat. Take it to Louie. You know what? I'm going to take more than five. I'm taking 10. Because I am an overachiever. And if I lose some barrels along the way, then I have backup. Close it. <gasps> wow, that was amazing. Did you see that play right there? That freaking barrel went right into the back. Out of the way. Hazardous material come through. Uh, and, uh, I lost one. That's why we carry extra, folks. Like, my boss really needs to pave out this road to the quarry. Like, it is a bumpy ride. Like, what am I supposed to do? Go slow? I'm on a time limit. Oh, no, Louie! Maybe it's fine. Okay, it blew up. <laughs> Grab these barrels, start feeding Louie. There you go, Louie, two at a time. I'm 20 out of 25 of feeding Louie. I wonder what happens when you completely feed him. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna do delivery again. We got three minutes to spare, that's good. We can take our time if we really wanted to, but I'm a man on a mission. No, 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 Louie! God, no! I got one, I saved one barrel. That's it. Oh wait, there's a second barrel. A second barrel was saved. No! What happened to it? It's gone! You know what? Two minutes, I'm gonna save myself some trip. Come on, drive it up. Put it into Wumbo, come on, get up this hill. Vaybrow is on. Launch pad in three, two, one, go! Make it! Saved ourselves some time. We have literally a minute 30 to get down here. Does my boss have a new vehicle? Freaking open the gate for me, what's your problem? I'm taking a shortcut that I wouldn't recommend doing. If I angle it right, I can hit the other truck. Go, go, go! No! I lost everything! This is the only vehicle I got because the boss did not replenish the old vehicle. Put it on the bus, please! Yes, I can. Put that in the back. Woo! Oh, landed it. Sweet. No! What? What? You kidding me? One flew out the door? Okay, this is the problem. This is the problem. I can't get I can't get into the vehicle. My hands are stuck in the doors. I can't get this. Okay, I got one. I'll be able to get the 25 out of 25 at least. Really? Louie, it's in your face! Are you kidding? Louie! Louie! I freaking jinxed it. I'm the only person who can jinx that. It was 25 out of 25, and Louie just decided, nah, I'm not going to eat that last one. I'm going to let it fall through the map. I never thought my job would consist of taking hazardous material down to the quarry by foot. 25 out of 25. It just went up from 25 out of 25 to 25 to 50. You kidding me? Well, let's put this in the back of my truck, get paid and buy my new house and enjoy my new life. And with this $60 to my account and oh my God, it's six, six, six. Well, I'd like to sell my house for $375. Yes, I would. And we're here finally at our brand new house and we can buy it. And I'm back to being poor. But let's check this place out. Ooh, I got a lazy boy this time. Still got a VCR player, huh? What's this movie? The Wibbly Wobblies. I love that movie. And now that I bought my new house and got my fancy a tear, oh, I think it's time to grab me some tomatoes and some cabbages. Yep. Nope. 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 Uh, Nope, nope, nope. This nope, is fake. Nope. The cabbage and the tomatoes. Nope. They're fake. Are the chickens real at least? The chickens gotta be real. I mean, they're moving all that stuff. Like, nope, nope, nope. I can't even grab nope, the chickens. Nope. I've been bamboozled. Curse you, game developers. Curse you. Big bread here. Thank you for watching Wobbly Life episode two. If you want to see more Wobbly Life videos, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.